Okay, we're going to talk about a NAND logic gate. As you can see, a NAND looks very similar to an AND gate, except for it has the inversion bubble here at the end. So let's take a look at what it can uh, output for us. If we take a look at the table here, this is just your basic truth table, if we have 0 and 0, that is 0, 0 inverted is 1, so our output is 1. If we have 0 and 1, 0 and 1 here, that's 0, but 0 inverted is 1. If we have 1 and 0, that is 0, 0 inverted is 1. If we have 1 and 1, that is 1. 1 inverted is 0. So our output ends up being 1, 1, 1, 0. So there's where our output comes from, from our input. Alright, an, an advantage of having a NAND circuit is NAND gates can produce any kind of other AOI logic. I can produce an inverter, I can produce an AND gate, and I can produce an OR gate. So if we look through this, the output really here is X and Y, and then X and Y inverted. So this is really just X, Y, bar. Alright, if I wanted to input a single input and just invert it, so if I wanted to replace a standard inverter, alright, so say I'm going to take, you know, just a, a basic X value or a basic input, a switch, alright, X, and I put it into both inputs of the NAND logic. So here, X and X is X, X inverted is X bar. So there's a way that we use a NAND gate as an inversion gate.